reaction. Hello guys, welcome back to a bit of everything channel. So I hope you guys had a very a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, for Christmas, I got this Google Chromecast. So this is Google's most innovative device yet. Um, so this Chromecast is essentially a device where you plug into your old TV or your current TV and you're able to use a lot of the streaming services. Um, so as you can see here, this is just the box here. It comes with a remote and the Chromecast itself. Um, and as you see on the back, you just plug it into your TV and you can use all these new streaming services such as Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, uh, Spotify and all these other ones as well. So you've got a, just a list at the front of all the um, apps you can use. So what's very nice about this as well is that compared to the old Chromecast where you're able to connect a device of yours onto the TV, this, election, this actually bypasses you having to use your phone or your laptop as well and you can pretty much make any TV into a smart TV. Alright, the box is very small, it comes with a remote as well as the device itself. Um, very nice and simple, uh, nice design, comes with the plastic on top and a device like this that I got uh, comes for comes to $99. So very nice device to make your TV into a smart TV. Alright, now that I'm opening the box, we'll see what it has. <clears throat> Alright. Just before I open the box, um, what's good about the Google Chrome uh, is that Chromecast, sorry, is that you do have the ability to use um, Google. So when you say "Hey Google," you're able to um, use that, and instead of using the remote itself, you can it's voice activated. So for those who have Google Home or um, any other Google devices. Uh, you are able to use that as well, um, which is a very nice feature um, considering the old one you just had to use your uh, device to connect up to the TV. On top of that, this device also makes, uh, apart from being able to access streaming sites, it does make the quality of your TV that much better as you can see. It goes from HD to 4K to HDR based on how old your TV is or how recent your TV is as well. Alright, and with that said, let's open up the box. Alright, so I think you can open up from the bottom. Yep, so as you open it up from the bottom, you can see it's got it there nicely placed, easy to see. That's the Chromecast here. And beside that is the remote that comes with the Chromecast. All right, so as I pull that out, within the box, we have the remote, the Chromecast, and we have the starters guide. So let's get started with that. Um, if you want to have a look to see how you use the actual device itself, you just have a look into here. And with this said, this is also the warranty that comes with the device itself. Over there. Alright, I'll put that down on the side. And included within this is a charger for your remote. I'll pull that out actually. So it is USB-C to charge the remote. And it also does, if you aren't charging it, come with two AAA batteries as well. So you have a look at that. Very nice considering most uh, products that you buy don't come with uh, batteries itself. But very nice anyways to include batteries with it. Alright, that aside, these are all the pieces we have included in the box. So we have the USB-C connector, two batteries, we have the warranty and the manuals guide, the Chromecast itself, 
the remote as well as the charger. So yeah, now let's get to the main event. Let's have a look at the Chromecast itself. So to open it, you just open it from the top over here and you can pull the device out. As you can see, it is wrapped in this cloth, protecting it, and look how big that is compared to the old Chromecast. As you can see, at the tip, it is connected via a HDMI cord, which you plug onto the back of your TV, and from there on, it starts. I think you press that button to turn it on, and then it starts. Actually, I think I've just mistaken it. The remote itself is uh, battery operated. However, the Chromecast is chargeable via the USB-C. So don't forget to charge your Chromecast from time to time uh, to continue to use it. All right, that's the Chromecast itself. You can have a look at that. And while I open the remote, here we are. As I can see, the remote is very simple, very small, and it has features where you just tap on, uh, click on Netflix or YouTube, and it'll take you straight to that app. So having to skip all that searching and all that, which makes it very easy to use and very fast and efficient. All right, within the remote, we do have the on the top over here, as you can see, it's just the up, down, left, right. So, and we also have the probably OK button or press play or pause. Um, within here, this is just the back button. We have this gray one over here, which is when you click that, that is the Google Assistant. And it'll help you, uh, when you press that button, you're able to say, hey Google. Um, and anything you follow after that, let's say, hey Google, open up YouTube, or hey Google, play my favorite videos. And I'm assuming that the mic is within the remote itself. And when you, when you talk into the mic, it will send it to Chromecast. There. All right, we have the home button over here. Uh, the mute button. Uh, of course, as I said before, just the YouTube and Netflix button to go back. This is the power button, and then obviously the source button when changing uh, when changing which device you want it to go on. All right. With that said, the Chromecast is very simple. Um, there's not really much to it. I think you can just it's really just a plug and play feature that you can add on to the TV, and then it has a lot of benefits to use anyways. All right. And with that said, instead of just talking about the device itself, I will plug it onto the TV so you guys can have a look at it and see uh, how it performs as well. All right. So we have the actual Chromecast here on, and we're going to plug it into the back of the TV. So this isn't actually your charger, it actually connects to the, t uh, to the PowerPoint and while that's connected, you do plug the Google Chrome um, Chromecast in. So. Here we are, we plug the HDMI, I'll plug that there, and then I'll connect that onto there. And so it always has to be on uh, for, in order for the Chromecast to work. It is a uh, rechargeable uh, uh, recharger, it's not a recharger. Alright, so once that's plugged in, as you can see we have the Chromecast just um, resting over here on the back of the TV. And I think it should be on the light switch is on at the back. And so that's when you know uh, the Chromecast should be working. You press the button to turn it on. All right, now that that's in, uh, I'll turn on my TV and we'll have a look as to how Chromecast will start up. All right, once you sign in, uh, once it's all updated, the uh, Chromecast does ask you to sign in into your email. Go. All right, and after you've signed it into your email, it does come up with the terms and agreements. Uh, of course, we just click accept once we've read that. Uh, and then it does tell you about its Google services. We can use location. Um, let's turn this off. 
improve Chrome class recommendations. Uh, I'll Google it here. Let me show you. Just turn that off as well and then just click accept. Um, after that, it does ask you if you want to stay updated with Google's new offers and services. I'll just click no, but depending up to what you guys want, you can if you want to stay updated. And then from here, I think the Chromecast should be coming up and let's just wait for it. I'm very excited to see uh, what it has to show us. Um, all right, so now that we, now that everything's up, you just select the services that you want to watch. Netflix, YouTube is already ticked. Oh, let's go down. We have Stan, Disney Plus, we have Prime Video, we have Spotify, we have 7 Plus, 9, um, and that is it. So those are our streamings. Streaming apps and then just click continue. And then control volume and power within your Chromecast remote. Um, so you can set up, I think that is with your uh, voice. You can use the Google commands, but I won't do that now. Click not now. And all those apps that you've picked, it will install onto your TV. So it does take a bit of time. And we'll be back. And now that every app has been installed, um, we can see now that uh, we have the button that says start exploring. So let's just go do that. And as we can see, for those who have a smart TV at home, you can see that it kind of looks like a smart TV. Um, so we have all our apps that we've chosen to download from Netflix, YouTube was the default, Stan, Prime Video, Disney, 9 Now, 7 Plus, and all those other ones. Um, we have movies, shows, apps, library, so everything that we have over here. Um, of course, you do need um, an account to be able to watch some of the movies. Um, yeah, and it does give you some recommendations, those that are trending on Google. And what's really good about it as well, it does have the Rotten Tomatoes ratings on the bottom. So nice and easy if you want to see if it's a good movie or if it's not. So... Yeah, here we are. And that's all for today, guys. And I hope you guys enjoy watching. And that is the Google device itself. So I'm really happy if you guys learned something or if you found the video interesting. Um, remember, the Google Chromecast is $99. Um, you can find it at any retail store that sells technology, JB Hi-Fi. Um, one being where I got this one from. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Thank you very much for watching and as usual, take care. I'll see you next I'll see you in the next video. Bye.